Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we are gonna be doing something a little bit different. Now I am up here camping in Missouri, which is a very long place from West Texas. And since I'm up here where there's trees and forests and all that, I decided to try out something new, which is hammock camping. Now, once again, me being from the Southwest, I know very little about hammocks or how to set them up because, you know, I live in a place of just rocks and cactus. Uh, so I never took the time. So I decided to bring in a local expert, also a great friend of mine, Leo from the Irish Zombie Nation YouTube channel. Ah, what's going on everybody? I am so happy to be on James's channel, Junkyard Fox. I've been wanting to meet this guy forever and finally we are camping together. So once again, so the next four days, Leo and I are camping, shooting some videos and all that stuff. And he's gonna teach us how to, he's gonna walk us through on how to set up a hammock for those who don't know, a quick tutorial. And then I'm gonna be sleeping on that hammock for the next four days. And I'll let you guys know at the end of the day how I feel about it. Yeah, he's going to be a hanger. We're gonna get him <laughs> off the ground dwelling. He's going to be a hanger, I promise you. Awesome, so thank you once again, Leo, for joining us. And thank you guys for joining us as well. Let's get to it. All right, everybody. So we are going to show you guys how to set up a hammock for a first time beginner into hanging. Uh, this is the gear that I used during my first hang and I used it for many, many months afterwards, probably a good year before I upgraded anything. This stuff is really good. It's inexpensive. It's a great way to get off the ground and into the tree. So let's go down here, show you what we got. First of all, you're gonna need a way to carry all of this stuff. So uh, Hidden Woodsman, I would definitely suggest some of his pouches or packs, uh, really great stuff, high quality. That's not what we're here for. We're here for what we need to hang the hammock. First of all, you're gonna need some type of suspension straps. We've got these, these are uh, Eno Atlas straps. These are really nice. This is a snug pack hammock, it's the first one I ever used. It is either the jungle or tropical hammock. It's the one that doesn't have a bug net built into it. And I prefer this one, I'll show you why in a second. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to need a tarp. Now, if you're in a wooded area, uh, some people are like, well, it's clear, it's not gonna rain, I don't need a tarp. You still need a tarp because you're gonna have things falling on you. So I got a tarp up in here, and then you're gonna need some cordage and some tent stakes, which I have in this little stuff sack. And then if it's during the summer and there's a lot of bugs, you're going to need a bug net. So these basic items right here are what you're gonna need to get set up. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up and we're gonna find a couple trees. We've already staked out this position, so you're gonna need trees at least maybe 15 feet apart. It depends on how long your straps are and uh, what angle you wanna get the straps hanging at. So when you find two trees, like we found these, these are gonna be perfect right here. I don't know what type of trees they are, but they're sturdy trees, I can tell you that. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to look up, okay? And a lot of people forget to do this, but you need to look up in the trees and make sure there's no dead limbs hanging over. Those are known as widow makers. You wanna make sure everything's alive, everything's green. Anything dead like that, you could be asleep in the middle of the night, crash down on you, your trip's over. So, now that we got these two trees, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hang up the uh, hammock straps. All right, guys, so like I said, we are using the Eno Atlas straps. These are really nice straps. They run about 30 bucks or something like that. Not too expensive. You get two of them. They're, I think, 10 feet long, double stitched over, very nice straps. I just wad things up in stuff sacks. That's why they're called stuff sacks. They're not called re-roll it and put it back in the sack. They're stuff sacks. So I just stuff everything in there. You're gonna wanna grab one of your straps, find the end. This end here, you can see, has a whole bunch of little loops in it. That's where you're gonna actually hang the hammock from. But at the other end, you just have one solid loop right here, all right? So we're gonna go, what you're gonna wanna do is come to the tree and you wanna go, some people say you wanna go about the height of your forehead. I go a little bit uh, taller than that. I go about to the top of my head, a little bit above it. So you go right around there, make sure it's nice and flat on the tree, it's not kinked or anything like that. And then you just feed it through the loop. Now, once you get it fed through, you're gonna want to not have it dead center in the middle of the tree like this, because you see what it's doing? It's kinking up your strap. You wanna move it so that this loop is on the edge over here and it kind of straightens the strap out a little bit more, not putting as much tension on the strap. So about like that. Then just drop it down, go over to the other tree with the other strap, do the same thing. All right, now that we have the other strap on the other tree set up, it's time to put up the hammock. Now, if it was raining, if you're hiking in and it's raining, you're gonna to wanna to do the tarp first, but that's not the case here. So I prefer to do this so I'm not working under the tarp. Most hammocks, these are very inexpensive hammocks. This one's like 25 bucks or something like that. They come with carabiners already attached. If they don't, you need to make sure you have climbing grade carabiners. It can't be those cheap ones you use for your car keys. So just take one end of the hammock and it doesn't matter right now which of these loops you put it into because you're gonna adjust it eventually. So I'm just gonna put it into, let's say this one right here, okay? And then the hammock just, it comes in its own stuff sack, which it also becomes a little pouch on the side of the hammock when you're done. So you just kind of pull it out. Try not to let the hammock touch the ground so you're getting dirt and stuff in it. Pull it out, find your other carabiner, which is right here. 
come over to your other strap and get the, get the hammock about where you want it. That looks about right to me. So it doesn't matter what side you, you want to do it on, if you want the pouch on this side or that side. Personally, you can see how it's kind of up on this side. I'm going to get in from this side. So I'm going to switch it around real quick. I'm just going to grab this carabiner, take it off, come over here, and you're going to make adjustments. That's the thing. Like, you're not going to set it up perfect the first time. That's what I'm having to do here. So I'm going to reattach this one, move this one off, come back over here, and attach. All right, so the angle you want with this is they say you want about 30 degrees. Uh, I found that it varies, it honestly does. It doesn't have to be a perfect 30 degree angle. What I mean by 30 degree angle is if you were to take a line straight across from here, you want this to be at about 30 degrees. This, I'm not sure what it's at, but it looks good to me. Now, it's also about where my waist is, okay? So what you wanna do now is just come in, kinda stretch the hammock out a little bit. Take your hand, stretch with your back hand, stretch that out, push this down and sit. And then just see how it feels. Does it feel like you're sitting flat? This feels good to me. So this is about where I would want to lay. Then I'm going to, I have a knife on, so I'm gonna be careful, but I'm gonna stretch this out. And you can use hammocks as chairs too. If you wanna just lounge around, I mean, you can just hang out like this in the hammock all day long, read a book, have some whiskey, <laughs> something like that. All right, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this out, get in here, and I, you, I have boots on, obviously, you're not gonna to wanna to do this, but uh, get yourself a nice lay. Now this is not an asymmetrical hammock. This, this is a banana hammock, no jokes right there, but this is a banana style hammock. So you're not gonna get a really flat lay in one of these, but you're still gonna be comfortable. I slept in this exact hammock for a good six to eight months before I upgraded. So usually when you're laying, you kinda of wanna get a little bit of an angle, makes you lay flatter, you know? So you've got a bent knee, you've got a straight leg. You can even, I'll tend to do this at night so my knee's not bent too much. I'll just kinda of put my boot under there, or my foot under there, brace my knee. All right, so that's getting in the hammock. Hammock's comfortable. Now, to make sure while I'm sleeping, I don't have birds crapping on me or tree limbs falling on me, I'm gonna wanna put up a tarp. First thing to do with a tarp, depending on how you wanna hang it up, the way we're gonna hang this one up is with a continuous ridge line. So I'm gonna grab that and get that up on the tree. Now onto that continuous ridge line I was just talking about. Let's get this sucker. This is where I'm carrying my cordage and my tent stakes. You're gonna need those to put the tarp into the ground. All right, so just paracord, 550 cord. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it online, Amazon, whatever. Uh, this is about, I don't know, maybe 75 to 100 feet of it. Even though I've got more than I need, I'm not gonna cut it up. I'm just gonna use this entire length, so. Okay, so what I do at the end here is I just tie a simple knot. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show it to you real quick. You can do this at any end of the rope, but you just take it like this and you do a simple overhand. Just make a little loop, you feed it through, kind of like the first aspect of tying your shoes, except you're using both pieces. You just do that and you see it makes a little loop. But I already have one in there, so I'm gonna show you that one more time, just in case you wanna see it again. All right, so just take any portion of the rope and overlap it, feed it through, and then you pull it and you see you make a little loop right there. I'm not gonna tighten it down because I don't need that right now. I already have it right there. When hanging a continuous ridge line, I usually go a little bit above the straps, and I'm doing that today because we don't, we're not expecting any type of bad weather. If I was expecting rain, I'd want the tarp lower, and I'd want it, you know, kind of coming up over me so it's entirely protecting me, and I would do it, you know, about down to here. But because we have fair weather, I'm going to go higher so there's more headroom. Feed the cord all the way through. Very dirty. Caught on a little knot there. It's a very long cord, so. <laughs> All right, get that back up where I want it. Just pull that tight like that. And then I just run the cord all the way over to the other tree. And this knot is called the McGillicuddy. Why is it called a McGillicuddy? Because I don't know if it actually has a name because I'm just kind of stringing it up here, honestly. I'm not good with knots. I know like two, I know how to tie my shoes, and I know another one I'm gonna show you in a bit. All right, so once I have it over like this, I come up here and I loop it over, bring it around, and then I pull it like this so it kind of centers itself in the tree, and then I wrap it around the tree again. Coming over and doing the same thing in reverse. One more time, so I've got that. That thing is dead set now. It's not gonna go anywhere. Then to cinch it off, I come and I just wrap it about three times. And 
And on the last one, got that wrapped over three times, I come up behind here, I make a small loop, take this part, feed it through, and then just cinch it down like that. That way, when I wanna undo this, all I gotta do is like that, and I don't have to deal with any really tight knots, but that thing is in place and it's not going anywhere. All right, guys, now it's time to hang up the tarp. I'm using the Snug Pack <clears throat> All Weather Shelter. Normally, I would have this just shoved in here, but this time I don't, I actually rolled it up. Now, I, use, I just keep my cords for the guy lines attached. I keep my 550 attached on there so I don't have to each time go back and add paracord to it every time. And I like to use reflective ones, the reflective uh, paracord, so I'm not tripping over my guy lines at night. All right, now I'm just gonna unroll that sucker like this. And because of how close these trees are, uh, I'm not gonna do a diamond shaped uh, tarp. You know, that would be where you have one corner there, one corner there, and then it comes down into a triangle. Looks like a diamond from overhead. Instead, I'm gonna do an A-frame tarp. Get this. This is a perfect 10 by 10 foot tarp, so it doesn't matter what side you do first. Up like that. And now I'm just going to throw it over the ridge line. gonna be a lot of adjustments you gotta make, you know, to get it even, get your guy lines on each side of the hammock. But once you get it, you wanna straighten it out. This side needs to be straightened out. Then you wanna just even it out so that both ends down here are even with each other. There. And that looks good to me. So now you can see I am entirely covered. You can't see any part of the hammock. At least I don't believe you can. You can see the carabiner there. That's not a big deal. Over here, just a little bit. You want it to be poking out about the same amount on each side, which is basically make sure all of your fabric is covered. Now that we have the tarp where we want it, I always carry a couple of these little guys with me because they make it very easy to hold the tarp in place. These are tarp clips. You can get these at Walmart. I think they're three for like four bucks or four for three bucks. I can't remember which, but they're very handy. They just have these little sharp teeth right there, a little dial to tighten the teeth down. You can see that like this. So I just take one of these, open up the teeth, come over here up on the ridge line, open this up a little bit more. Oh, that's closed. There we go, open. Get it over that so the teeth are holding the hammock, or I'm sorry, not the hammock, the tarp, onto the ridge line. Get that nice and tight. And now you can see it's not going anywhere. So I don't have to worry about it sliding when I'm trying to put the uh, guy lines in the ground. Same thing over on this side. See, it's a little bit loose right there, so I'm gonna tighten it, put that over that, clamp it down. Just like that, and now my tarp is nice and tight and in place. Now, like I said, I always keep my guy lines just already attached to the tarp so I don't have to go and carry a bunch of extra cord and go loop them through every time. So there's no need to do that, just keep them attached. I come down here and now this is the only time I'm going to show you a real knot. <laughs> this is the only real knot I know, I think I know anyway. This is called a Marlin spike hitch. So what you do, just lay your stake on the ground there. You take your guy line, get it about how far you want your hammock. If you look right here, you can see if I want it down low, block more wind. I do it like that. If I want it out for more ventilation because it's hot, then I'm gonna do it like that. And that's what I'm gonna do because it is very hot right now. So, come close here, you'll see. To do a Marlin spike hitch, you just take your, take your guy line here, put a point with your finger, get it down here with your thumb, make a loop, okay? And it has to go in front. Don't go behind or anything like that. Just here, here, like that. Oh, sorry, lost it. Make a loop, so you've got a circle like that, and then just pinch it right here. Now take this little loop, reverse your fingers. So you're doing like this, like you're grabbing it like a little mouth. You're gonna come up here over the other part of the rope. Now you've got a little section right through here your fingers slide through. Take your, your uh, tent stake, put it through there, and then just grab both ends and pull. Very nice and tight. So I'm gonna show you, and then when I wanna take this out, you just slide the tent stake out and pull, and it comes right apart. Show you that one more time. Finger, thumb, loop over the top. Little deal like this, like it's gonna eat it, grab it, Put your stake through and you are done. 
just like that. And then get it up here in this little sheep's hook section. It's nice and tight. Pull that sucker nice and tight and then find your spot in the ground and you know how to do a tent stake. Just shove it in there as much as you can. I'm gonna have to go get a rock and I'll bang that in a little bit more. Okay, so now we basically have a completely set up shelter. You've got a tarp, you've got your hammock. That's pretty much all you need. Unless you got bugs, we got bugs, mosquitoes, spiders, all that kind of stuff. So you need a bug net. If your hammock doesn't already have one built in, you're gonna need one of these. Now, what it doesn't come with is some type of a way to hang it. I bought some shot cord. I put a couple loops on the end, like I showed you on the other rope. And then I have a couple carabiners. I like using the shot cord because it allows me to sit in the hammock and it allows the bug net to move with the hammock. As opposed to putting it on the ridge line, I could just attach the bug net to the ridge line. It would be way too high. I would sit down. I'd be putting pressure on the ridge line as well as the bottom of the hammock and the bug net, it might rip. So I use shot cord. Show you under here. All you do, take the one carabiner. I already have it attached to one end and on the continuous ridge line, just hook it on just like that. Come over to the other end. And you can see I've used this one before on a different tarp. And so it's too long. You see how it's sagging like that? I don't want that. So I need to make another loop so that this gets real nice and tight. So I'm gonna come over here and in that same loop that I showed you guys before, you just make a little, a little loop, a big loop actually, like this. And then just come over like you're tying your shoes. I think that's called an overhand knot. I'm not entirely sure. And you just pull it tight and there you go. You got a little loop, see? So I just made a loop on the line. Move my carabiner from this one on the end to this one and stretch that shot cord, attach. And now you can see I have a ridge line, another ridge line in here, but it's made of shot cord. So it flexes. I'm gonna take this extra little piece of shot cord that's just hanging off here and just kind of hang it over the top here so it's not hanging down. And now I'm gonna grab the bug net. It's in its own stuff sack, same as the hammock. It's built almost the same way and I'm just gonna pull it out like so. Now this type has a single entrance, one zipper down the center. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to, let's see, how do I wanna hang this? There's clips on one side and there's not on the other. Clips are what's gonna go up here. So this is where the center of the bug net is. So I'm gonna reach my hand in here and I'm gonna come all the way through and out this end. Now what I have to do is I have to go on the other end of the hammock here. Now I'm going to disconnect this carabiner. I'm gonna let the strap just hang. I'm gonna reach with my hand, grab it, and I'm gonna feed this through the hammock. Get it through the other end. So now the bug net is slipped onto the hammock. I'm just gonna reattach the hammock to the strap. Now that I have the hammock fed through, I just take this part up here, cinch it down, and there's a little cord lock on there. That way no insects are gonna crawl up through this hole in the middle of the night. And then all these little clips, you got five of them across here. You come up, clip all five of them. And we are almost completely done and ready to deal with any insects that might try to eat us. <laughs> so now that's your entrance right there. You have another little sack down here. So when you get in your hammock, you wanna put your phone or your keys or something like that, you can do that. And you have another one for the hammock. So you've got multiple little storage areas. Just zip that sucker up like this and you're good to go. And when you're sleeping in it at night, try to keep the zippers, you know, about like this so they're easy for you to reach. There's little pulls on the inside, they are reflective and it makes it easy for you to get in and out. All right, everybody, now that this is set up, it is time for the junkyard fox himself to, for the first time, get in this hammock and see what he thinks. All right, guys, so the hammock has been already set up. So I'm gonna just give it a little test jump in here. So this is where I'm gonna be sleeping the next couple days. Now I gotta be careful because I'm wearing boots. Obviously I'm not gonna go to bed right now. That's pretty cool.
Well, everyone, once again, I want to thank Leo for being part of this video and teaching us something that I have zero concept about. And by the way, that's his tent over there. I mean, I'm sorry, his hammock over there with his really customized tarp. It looks really incredible. Yeah, once, once you've been doing this for a while, I've been doing this for about four years or so now. And, you know, eventually you want to upgrade. I showed you guys earlier, I said that was my the stuff that I began with. It's the stuff James is using now. I upgraded. I'm using Dream Hammock. I'm using a UGQ Winter Dream Tarp with doors, storm mode, stuff like that. You can just, it's got snaps. You can just, you know, so it's kind of like you're in a tent, but you're not in a tent. You're still hanging from the trees. But my tarp or my hammock is under there. Integrated bug net, integrated uh, ridge line, ridge line organizer, all kinds of stuff. But you're going to, you know, go up in cost when you're going that route. Yeah, but you know what? It's worth it. I, the last four days, uh, as I said earlier, um, I have slept so comfortable, so comfortable. Um, me sleeping in a tent and, and due to my day job, I have lower back problems. Like I, I'm in pain on my back all the time. And I didn't have that. Not once yeah. since I've come here. Yeah. So. I, I've said many times, if I if I get rid of my bed in my home, yeah. I would hang this from the like the, the walls and just sleep in that. But my wife, that would make my wife mad. So <laughs> it's not going to happen. One th word to the wise, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm hanging out with Leo, <laughs> Irish Zombie Nation. We're, we're drinking whiskey. Uh, oh, the, yeah. <laughs> the second night, I, 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 I've i been hitting the whiskey with him. I, I go to bed. I just went the other way. <laughs> I saw stars. I just, luckily, my head broke my fall. And, yeah. Um, that, that happens yeah. to all of us. Anyone that's ever, you know, when you, when you start hammock camping and you have a few drinks, it happens to everybody. So I was like, don't feel bad, James. You know, <laughs> I did it too. I've done it too. You go to sit earlier when I said lay down gently in the hammock or sit down gently at first, yeah. there's a reason for that. Because if you, if you do it quickly, you're going to, you know, topple over and smack your melon. So, uh, yeah, just sit down gently and, uh, you know, mind how many drinks you've had or don't mind and just be more gentle. <laughs> well, once again, guys, thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Something very different from what I normally do. And, you know, we brought in an expert, a great friend of mine as well. So Leo, Thank you James. very much. Yeah, man, thanks. It's been great. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment below, and we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.